Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. Today we are taking on the one and only Enforcers 3891's Ghost Ball and this was his second round at Ocean of Memories which was the um, second event of the Golf Club Association which is on every platform now guys. We do have it on the PS4, the Xbox and the PC. Um, Phil shot a fantastic second round here. I actually watched his uh, parts of his stream when he live streamed it. So just seeing if I can compete. As you know guys, I'm not able to enter the society events as are quite a few of us due to a glitch which was uh, uncontrollable and out with our hands, um, unfortunately. So kind of feeling a bit out of it at the moment guys regarding the society side of things. So just wanted to go out here and uh, see how we get on. So we are left 128 yards up 7 feet. It's going to be the pitching wedge. The greens are soft. Ooh, I have pushed that to the right. I am swinging well though, guys. I have um, been putting a lot of work into improving my swing. And look at that. We're probably about 3 feet from the pin. What an approach shot that has worked out. 3 feet bang on. This one's going to turn to the right from the left. Ooh, Phil misses his birdie. Let's see if I can can capitalise on that. Oh, Lee, what, <laughs> what a terrible putt that is, guys. You can't be missing three-foot putts for birdies or pars or bogeys. You just can't be missing three-foot putts. So I don't take advantage there. I'm just going to pick up a par. But if you've not joined our society on any of the platforms, guys, please search for... Um, TGCA, which stands for the Golf Club Association. We do have a website as well, which is www.thegolfclubassociation.co.uk. Um, please go and check that out. But I do hope everyone is well, guys, and had a fantastic weekend. And the Super Sixes does start this evening. Um, I will be recording my footage for that, so stay tuned for that on the channel. Striking it well, guys, but I put a slow on that. I don't think that's going to have enough legs to get up the slope on the green now, to be fair. Get up. No, that's going to come all the way back and leave me a chip shot. The chip shot's the only shot... Uh, the chip shot and the pitch shot is the only shot I'm really not confident about now, to be fair. Sometimes I execute them well. Sometimes they're disasters. Let's see if I can get this one close and set myself up for the birdie. Oh, wow, look at that, guys. That swing line is all over the place. And I've left myself a nasty birdie putt here, to be fair. Disappointed with that. Seven foot. Fills in for his. He absolutely drilled that home. He's going to turn to the left. Good putt line. And we do manage to match Phil's birdie, and we are both at one under par here, guys. Through two. But I just want to thank everyone for the continued support on the channel we are now almost at 1.6 thousand subscribers guys i can't thank you all, all enough part of me it is really appreciated the love and the support on the channel and that's what this channel is about a community spirit try to drive the green with a three wood here but it's another slow it's gonna go slightly more right no idea what kind of kick i'm gonna get here in the fairway oh it's bounced hard right sit down Fortunately, we are still on the fairway here. Phil just came up short also. I have set my settings to the exact same. The course conditions, the exact same conditions as Phil had them set on the society. It's another poor chip shot, guys. I really seem to struggle with the swing line with the chip shots. Hopefully, I can tap this in for a birdie. And we both go to two under par, guys, through three holes. But the society is going, coming along nicely, guys. We are aware that there's 40, 50 people who have had the same issue as me. And I do apologise about that, guys. Um, but like I say, it's out with Phil's control. That is a beautiful strike on this par 3. This should be nice. Get up the slope. Sit down. Sit down. Fantastic tee shot there, guys. And that is going to set us up nicely for the... Probably about a 6-foot birdie putt. Eight foot, not much in this one. Phil's came up short. 
but I managed to, to capitalise on that, and I do go to to three under par here. Phil's going to remain at two under, so I do have a one-shot advantage over Phil at the moment. So, hole five is a par four, 422 yards. Once again, it's another straight drive, but look at this, guys, the slow, and it's really going to move me over to the right-hand side, and we have kicked in to the rough there, unfortunately. The only plus side is we are not far from the, the green here. Good strike out of there, pushed it slightly to the right at the top. Oh, that's trickled on a bit. Sweet. Okay, we're putting from around 15 feet out. So this one should turn to the left. Phil's didn't seem to turn too much there. He is in for his birdie. This is down for the inches. No, I've allowed too much for the break there, guys. I really have. But I think it was uh, this course was designed by Adam Benjamin. This one, guys. Um, for the golf club um, 2. I also think that um, it was on the original golf club as well. If uh, if I do recall properly, or recall, I'm sure it was. Push that one right on a slope. So once again, guys, I am going to be in the deep stuff here. the heavy rough here. Unfortunately, yeah, guys. Right so let's see if we can get out of here. A few pure swings creeping into my game here. Now that was a swing. That's a better swing. This should be nice. This should sit down for me. Come on, sit down, sit down. Look at that for a shot there, guys, out of the rough. And we're probably looking about a three-foot putt for birdie. We have missed a three-footer already. Oh, Phil does miss his one there. I managed to drain that, so I do go to, to four under par, is it? Phil's going to remain at three under par with his ghost ball. Like I say, I do know what shill... Shill? I do know what Phil, a.k.a. the Enforcer 3891 shot here, guys. Hence, I wanted to challenge his ghost ball because it's fantastic. Another great straight swing, but we'll put a slow on that again. This time, we get away with it, to be fair. We're just going to be behind Enforcer's drive here. We're going to have a longer approach shot into this green. Just going to take a touch off this gap wedge due to the wind and an uphill slope. Phil's came up a bit short there. Ah, oh, Lee, look at that. I've pushed it right in the fast, but it looks like it's counteracting each other. It's going to be long. Poor swing there. Really poor swing, to be fair. So we're going to have a 20 foot putt for the birdie. This one's going to be a tough putt. It's going to oh, what a putt that is from Phil, who goes to four under. I'll be happy to take walk away with par here with this putt. Great effort there, guys. The, the line was decent. The weight was fantastic. And that should set me up nicely for my par. So, we are both at four under par here and going along nicely. But yeah, guys, the Super Sixes start tonight. Me and my partner, um, Tim. Are looking forward to that. Our first game is going to tee off at 8 p.m. tonight. I do believe um, Tim is live streaming it, so I'll just let Tim um, live stream. I will record and then upload on the channel. There's no point in both of us streaming and talking over each other and interacting with the viewers. Get down. Get in. Get in. Oh, wow, guys, we have got another hole in one here. Absolutely unbelievable. And that is going to keep us one shot ahead of Enforcer, who picked up his birdie there also. So I think that is my fourth or third ace in this game. Why? Wow. Requires a lot of luck to get a hole in one, guys, but I did strike the ball really, really well. 
And I am striking the ball well. But once again, it's a slow. Are we going to kick out of here? No, we're not. Oh, am I out of bounds here? I think that's the out of bounds marker there, guys, to be fair. Wow. It is. No, we're just past it. We're just past it. But I'm sure that's the out of bounds marker. Very fortunate outcome there. So a tough tough uh, situation we're in here now. This slope's really going to take us to the right. We are in the heavy rough. Once again, it's another clean strike. This could work out really well. Once again, guys, it's a great recovery from, from playing out the rough. And we've got an 8-foot putt now for Birdie. Fills in. And I follow him as well. So I am going to keep this one-shot stroke advantage over Phil. I am 7 under. Phil is 6 under. And this is a very entertaining game so far, guys. Right. Severe dogleg left here. How far can we take on? Oh, I'm very wary of these trees. I am going to have to draw this round. Fully loft this up, guys, and apply plenty draw. And try and counteract. Going over these trees. Ah, uh, put a slow on it. That's probably just going to counteract the bloody draw. I could be in trouble here. Yeah, we are going to trickle out the fairway. Once again, we're in the rough. This time it's not too bad. It's just going to be the light rough. But, but it is a par 5. 181 yards. Up 8 feet. Just going to deal off this 6 iron, guys. See if we can kick it onto the green from this fairway here. On the left-hand side. Decent swing again. Slight push. Is it going to kick on for us? No, the slope kicked us the other way. So once again, we're going to be left with a chip shot that hopefully we can execute well and set ourselves up for the birdie. Nice chip shot there from Phil. He's going to be able to convert that for his bird. So I need to get this close. Put very slow on that. Put very slow on that, guys. An extreme push to the right. Let's see if we can convert this birdie to go to 8 under par. We do. So I managed to stay one head, <coughs> pardon me, one stroke ahead of Phil at the moment. Do you feel like I'm coming down with a bit of cold, guys? I've got a bit of a chesty cough and a bit of a sore head. So I do apologise if I sound slightly different on the commentary today. Look at this for a shot from Phil. So as you can see, the green really slopes to the right here. So just going to lie for this. Pitching where it should be bang on. Oh, it's another beautiful strike. I like the way this, is tracking. this looks good. This looks good. Sit down. Oh, we haven't, have we? Guys, that's two aces on one round. Two holes on one and one round. That is unbelievable. And it puts me to 10 under. Wow. I'm using a lot of my luck up with these holes and ones. Unbelievable there, guys. And we move to 10 under through through 11 holes. Ah, look at this. Be nice. Are we going to hold the right-hand side of the fairway? Just. Just. So we do get away with that one there, guys. So 218. There we go. That's better. Still a slight push at the right, but far better swing. So, toughest hole on the course. Stroke index 1. 6 wood it is for me. I've put a slow on it again. I think this could sit down for me fairly well. Though. Look at this. Get up that slope. Fantastic approach shot there, guys. And we are going to have a, a putt for birdie here. This would put us to 11 under if we could could nail this. No, once again, it's a poor putt. And I'm just going to tap this in for par, guys. But disappointed not to get a birdie there, to be fair. Phil was in for his par also. 
So we've got a two shot difference here, guys. Phil's played two shots more than me. That's how it works in stroke play. Ah, oh dear. My swing is going from bad to worse here. Bounce left. Bounce left. It looks like it's going to kick right. Yeah. So once again, I'm in the heavy rough. The only, the only um, consolation here is it is a par 5. So I'm just going to play smart here and hopefully leave myself a flop shot. That's a better strike. Hopefully that's going to travel down the fairway. Nowhere near the flop shot range though, so hopefully it's going to be a lob wedge and not a pitch. Just give me a damn pitch. So, let's go to the lob wedge guys, because I really struggle with the pitch shots. And I'm just going to loft this up. And hopefully get this dialed in, because Phil's at 10 under now as well. He must have picked up an eagle there. Absolute fantastic goal from him. Pushed it right again. Sit. Just as well at soft greens there, guys. All right, here we go. This one. So we've got a six foot putt for the birdie. This is to stay one shot ahead of Enforcer. We do manage to read a, a, a good putt there, guys, and we go to 11 under par. It just shows you how good a Ryan Phil's having here. He's 10 under. I've had two holes in once. So that's two eagles that's helped me out here. Hole 14, guys. That's a better swing. Far better swing there. Looks like Phil's in the bunker this time. Hopefully that's going to travel down this fairway well for me. It does. We've managed to nail that 304 yards. Let's see if we can take advantage of Enforcer being in the bunker there. 167 yards to the pin. Down 7 feet. So 8 iron is going to be the shot. It looks like Phil's played a great shot there. It's trickled on a bit. He's probably got about a 12 foot putt. Flawless strike again. This should run on from the, the fairway, guys, because it is downhill. Come on, sit down for me. Got to be really happy with that outcome there, guys. And that's going to be about a five foot putt for birdie. Going to be a bit of a swing in this one. Certainly no gimme. Phil's in for his to move to 11 under, so I need to, to try and keep this one shot lead on him. And that does drop for me on the edge. And I do manage to get to 12 under par, guys. Phil's 11 under par. Ridiculous scorecards. Hole 15. Short par 4. Playing 330 yards. So it looks like this is going to be a pitch shot. Maybe... Should actually be a flop shot if I manage to play a good shot here. Ah, it's another slow. No idea. It looks like it's tracking okay, to be fair. That has worked out really, really well there, guys. Phil's just trickled into the light rough. Oh, 45 yards. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to try the pitch shot, guys. I have to. So I'm aiming way left for this, guys, to compensate for how far I push it right. Oh, typical. I play it deadly straight, but I have put a slow get up. Get up. Oh, it's a bit short. I did play that really, really straight there. Wish I could do that on a more regular basis. So 10 foot putt. Phil's 12 under. I need this to stay one shot ahead. I need that to turn. Oh, how did that drop? It looked like it wasn't going to drop. Gravity pulled it down and I do fortunately manage to get a birdie there. And stay at 13 under par. Uh, stay at 13 under par. Move to 13 under par. Hole 16 is a long par 5, 604 yards, there's no way either of us will be hitting this in 2. Did you just use Thor's hair? Once again, fantastic strike. Just that was a big and that should make its way right down the centre of the fairway. And it should set me up nicely for a layup shot here. Two hundred and seventy-nine yards. 
Just looking to lay this up here, guys. Phil's played the exact same shot. Hopefully leave a flop shot. Oh, dear Lee. Could be in the rough here. Going to be in the rough here, guys, because that's not going to work its way out. Oh, nasty. I think the only pleasing thing is it could well be a flop shot. It will be. It's going to be a flop shot out of the heavy rough. If I can find it. There we are. 20 yards. Just going to play this. Slope's going to take us to the left. Fast, fast. Sit down. Sit down. It's worked out really, really well for me there, guys. Here. So we do have a simple tap in for birdie. That we managed to convert. And we move to 14 under par. Phil's 13 under par. Unbelievable scoring here from, from the two of us here, guys. I am over the moon. Didn't expect to be shooting as well as this. But like I say, I am swinging well. I hope I can take this form into the Super 6s. Which is going to go uh, live tonight. It does start tonight. I do believe there's a few gentlemen who are going to be playing their rounds this afternoon. Once again, beautiful strike, guys. I am really hitting the ball well today. This should start to turn to the right. Come on. Should start swinging round towards the hole. No, it didn't. Sure, it said the green was breaking to the right there. We'll see here. We've got a, a putt to the left. No, it was breaking the opposite way. So I can put. Oh, what a chip in from Phil to get to 14 under par. So I've got this to move to 15 under. Tough putt this one, though. No. Ah, oh, I played it with too much pace. Played it with too much pace there, guys. And this is going to be a tricky par putt. So this is to remain at 14 under. Why? So we're both 14 under, guys, going down the 18th hole. What a round of golf from the two of us. I really hope this has been an entertaining watch for you guys. If it has been, please smash that like button for me, guys. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Like I say, we're almost at 1.6 thousand subscribers. I've pushed that right. I would love to get to 1.6k subs. And that is going to work its way down the fairway really, really well here. Phil obviously opted for the driver there. I opted for the for the three wood to try and leave me the seven iron, which I'm hoping is going to be bang on club here with these soft greens. Let's see if we can get this one close and get the birdie here. I do know that Phil finishes at 14 under par, so this is an opportunity for me. Beautiful strike. It's tracking well. The green should be... Oh, it's going to be long. It's going to be long. Is it going to come back down this slope a bit? No, it's not. So we're going to have a nasty downhill putt here, guys, to be fair. An 18-foot putt. Down five inches. I've not really drained a putt from any significant length in this round. There's not much in it, to be fair, guys. There's an opportunity to make this. I'm just going left edge of the cup here and letting the slope take it down. Get in. Oh, we've rammed that right into the heart of the cup, guys. Wow, 15 under. We managed to edge and force our 389's one's ghost ball. That is it for today, guys. Look at that two scorecards from the two of us. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, hit the like button. I will see you in the next one. Take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.